Hey guys, welcome to the Fly Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 5000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. Chervonti Davis knocked out Ryan Garcia in the 7th round. Regular WBA lightweight champion Chervonti Davis inflicted the first defeat on former interim WBC world champion Ryan Garcia, winning by technical knockout in the 7th round. At some time, Davies knocked Garcia down in the second round. The fight took place on April 22nd at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Davies' next opponent may be Devin Haney, the absolute world lightweight champion. The WBC, WBA, WBO and IBF lightweight titles will be at stake. Garcia actively started the fight and in the second round carried out several quick attacks, but in one of them he got coughed on a counterattack and ended up in a knockdown. After that, the pattern of the fight changed, and Davies began to act more actively and attacked more often. In the seventh round, Garcia missed a blow to the body and after a couple of seconds dropped to one knee and did not continue the fight. After the victory, 28 years old Davies agreed with the host that he had become the new face of boxing, and 24 year old Garcia didn't look for excuses for his defeat. Garcia took the thunder of the ring and started shooting back with a jab, keeping Davies at a comfortable distance for himself. At the beginning of the second round, Garcia shocked his opponent. Garcia spent almost the entire round on the attack, but at the last minute he missed the left overhand and ended up in a knockdown. Garcia began to act much more cautiously, but Davies went forward more actively. If Ryan had blows, the tank responded to them only with a slight green. Garcia periodically tried to deliver a trademark left hook, but Davies sold these blows and walked away from them. In the sixth round, Garcia delivered a powerful right overhand, but Davies withstood this hit well. Garcia continued to own the initiative. In the seventh round, Davies hit the left side of the body. Garcia reacted to this blow with a slow fall. A few seconds after the hit, he took a knee and could not continue the fight. Absolute light world champion Devin Haney admitted that he was surprised when he found out that Ryan Garcia took the fight with Gervonta Davis. According to Devin, Ryan has been challenging the leaders of his division for a long time, but has not accepted a single fight. I was surprised. I didn't think Ryan really wanted to fight any of the best fighters. We have seen him challenge a lot of guys, but he's never fought any of them. Still, I'm glad that this fight take place. It's good for boxing. This is a huge event. The biggest fight in recent times. To be honest, I'm excited. Haney said. The head of the Golden Boy Promotions company, Oscar De La Hoya, criticized Leonard Ellerby, who heads the Mayweather Promotions company. According to Oscar, Leonard has nothing to do with the organization of the duel between Americans Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. For that, he gives a lot of interviews about this and criticizes everyone, and also tries to provoke a conflict. There was no attraction between Ellerby and me. We had a little chat, and I explained to him what was going on here. I don't even understand why he is here at all. He is not a promoter, so I have no idea what he is doing here. De La Hoya said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.